Hello everybody, my name is Sirk and welcome back to Crash Landing. Last episode, we worked hard on getting this advanced, or not advanced, applied energistic stuff all set up. And since last episode, I've been expanding it and uh, playing with it and doing lots of stuff with it. Uh, we ended off having like a, a 3x3x4 by by uh, molecular assembler. And now I've expanded it to a 4x4x4, four by four by four, which means we now have... Uh, seven pattern providers inside. Uh, I haven't filled up one of the pattern providers with patterns yet, but this is all the stuff that I programmed into it so I can automatically craft all these things. And I've just been programming them as I go along. Uh, I got my pattern pro or encoder down here. Um, I made another ME drive, though I haven't filled it up yet. Uh, we I did make some more 4K storages, although... Right now we're only using three of them. And let's see, I also hooked it up. Uh, I got a cable running down there and I actually hook it up, hooked it up to our mob system over here so that I could access everything uh, from that one area. Over here, these things are full. Uh, I did make also a 16K storage, uh, storage device. So we now have much, a lot of extra storage over here. Um, and then uh, we were having trouble with the ender pearls or I wasn't sure what to do with the ender pearls I decided to basically do what I had before which is I got a barrel here for ender pearls So it's not actually getting stored inside the ME drive and I have uh, What I did for that is I have a fuzzy storage bus with ender pearls whitelisted and the priority is set to 64, which is higher than anything else in the system. So Ender Pearls will go there first. And then, uh, and then actually I need to change this. We need to up this priority. Let's just, I mean, we could just do two really. Let's do 10. Uh, so that first it will go to that barrel, fill this thing up. We'll get 64 stacks of ender pearls, and then when we get more ender pearls, they should go to this one because it has a priority of 10, which is higher than the ME drive. Uh, ME drive is just at one still, so then it will go to the barrel, and then all of those will just go into the ender generators. Let's go grab some water because we are going to die here. Uh, so that is figured out. Um, I don't really like having the barrel there just for ender pearls, but I couldn't really think of any other way to do it with uh, with the applied energistic stuff. So that will do the job for us. And the ender pearls that are in that barrel are still in the system. So if I go in here, we have the ender pearls, which is fantastic. And yeah, I've just been playing around with this thing. I got all the barrels cleaned up and chests and stuff. Everything is, or everything that I need is in here. Um, it's pretty much all just crafting stuff. If it's not used for crafting, like I have some stuff down here. Uh, like some of the stuff I guess I can craft with, but I can probably stick it in there. Um, but if there's stuff that I don't ne really need for crafting, then I don't really put it in there because... That's mainly what this whole thing is for, is for crafting stuff. Now, we do have a bunch of random mob drops that we don't really need for crafting, but that's just a byproduct of having our mob system pour out into here. Um, and, yeah, I mean, this thing is just really amazing, especially for this mod pack. You know, in other mod packs, I would be doing a lot more building and exploring and uh, playing around with mods, I guess. Um whereas this one they're like I don't, I don't really have a lot that I want to build uh, I'm just working on this base uh, which is it's mostly just digging stuff out and there's really no place to explore I mean there's cities but I don't I don't find the cities all that uh, interesting and so I'm basically stuck here and I'm really stuck here doing tons of crafting over and over, crafting lots of different things that I need. And so having this thing where I can just have it craft for me, especially a lot of these 
more complicated things that I need um, is really fantastic. Hello. Thank you for dropping off some more medals. Yay. Uh, but it, it's really nice for this mod pack, at least. And it really goes well with the whole the whole uh, futuristic space, uh, you know, scientific theme. It's really nice to have. Now, I must say one downside to this thing is uh, let's look at redstone right there. We have 33 redstone. <laughs> that is all, um, which is really bad. Uh, and we've used up lots of iron, though I still have a lot of iron left. Most of it is in blocks, but I can I have it set up so that I can uh, craft iron ingots automatically out of blocks. Um, but yeah, we we have used up lots of redstone uh, making this stuff. We've used up lots of redstone. I think a lot of it has gone to uh, to making our printed circuit boards. You know, we need the redstone to make our transistors and our capacitors that we use for uh, printed circuit boards. Got some more transistors here made. Uh, with this mod pack, <laughs> everything takes these printed circuit boards, and it's ridiculous. Especially, uh, you know, all of the machines take it, and with the advanced or the applied energistics, so many things take these. Like all these advanced processors take those um and yeah let's see where where was i yeah like all these advanced processors take these which is one printed circuit board for that plus another one or plus another two of them and then the basic processors take one of them and i just i use these so quickly and it's really annoying <laughs> It's it's hard. I keep I'm like constantly making stuff over here, but it takes so much iron and redstone just to make those. And so we need to do something about that. We need to get redstone. And I have a plan. I have an idea. We need uh do I not have any empty ones over here? I thought I did. We can probably craft one in here. Do I have I need ender pearls and I need gas tier. And let's just craft one of these. I think that's all I should need. And let's get our jetpack on because we're going outside. And our... Ah, turn it on. There we go. Okay. And we got our hang glider so we can go around quickly. We need a specific mob. Where... Where is it? We need a type of zombie. A villager type of zombie. You are a skeleton. Where are you, vi villager zombie? Here we go. This guy should do the job. So let's grab him. And let's head back to safety. Alright, so we got our zombie villager. A giant zombie. And we are going to stick him in here because I... I don't want to use up this one. I want to I want to use up a copy of them and then we're going to unhook this power and wait for that to turn off. And oh, I suppose it's not going to turn off. Well, let's just turn you around then, I think. I think that'll work. And then let's uh let's turn this on and get a one of those to spawn. I did the exact copy. So, we should get the exact same zombie villager and let's turn it off all right and then as you can see we got a splash potion of weakness and a golden apple we're gonna try and turn this guy into a villager i don't know if it'll work with uh the giant but let's try it out and i guess let's uh splash you and then get down ah ah nope oh i died <laughs> That guy hits hard. Ouch. Okay, so I'm back. Had to walk all the way from my old base. Um, because that's where that's the only place I have my sink stuff. And he's still here, which I'm surprised. I thought I'd despawn. Uh we need to go down there and get my stuff. And uh we can't let him kill us. So I got another safari net and haha. Haha. -ha. I don't know if he'll keep the whole 
the whole turning into a villager thing. But we can check that out. Let's get our stuff back on. Ugh. I need I need some better armor. I don't really really pay attention to my armor or use armor at all. Okay, let's just throw the rest of the stuff in here. Uh, yep, that could go all that stuff, and then we can break our our uh, thing here, our uh, gravestone. Yeah. Okay, so now let's uh, let's put him back down and see if he's got got the stuff still. Yeah, looks like he's still transforming, so that's good. So we just gotta wait for him to uh, to be cured of his zombification. Oh, and there we go. We got a villager. That's a weird looking villager. What kind are you? Oh, you sell music. Oh, I wonder if we can. Can we make the radio? Is that possible? If you've seen, uh, if you saw my, oh, we can make the radio. I wonder if we should. If you saw my series with uh, with Tiger, uh, my modded series, we we found some of these these music discs and we made the radio and basically it it actually spre uh, streams music from the internet and it's kind of weird. Are you are you getting full? Okay. And uh, the only problem is that the radio is super loud, <laughs> very loud. So we have our villager. And we can spawn, I wonder if we can spawn more villagers. I would assume so. Let's do not exact copy. And let's turn this on. And are we going to get more villagers? Yes, yes we are. Awesome, we have villagers. Let's turn this back off. And we got, uh, ooh, rubber saplings. Unbreaking, wow these are, ooh. Wait, wait a sec. Can I seriously buy that? I want that. Let's go grab it. Wait, we don't have to move, go over there because we have this. How magical is this? Oh, uh, that's one thing that I really love about this is now I don't have to run back and forth. Uh, was that you? Oh my gosh. This is, <laughs> this is cheating. This is just cheating right here. Oh, that is beautiful. Well, thank you, sir. Oh my god. Hearty breakfast, nourishing feast. So I can pay this guy an emerald and get tons and tons of food. You are staying with me. Can I not pick you up now? Wait a sec. Come back here. Oh, oh, that's the wrong one. That's why. Okay, I'm sorry. You go, you go away. Let's grab another safari net, and you come with me. All right, you're staying with me. Now you may be wondering where I'm going with all this. Uh, you might be following along, um, but we are getting a villager, or we got a villager, so that we can grab some of this, uh, this witch water, and maybe we should just do it here. I think that'll work. Let's make a little chamber for him and break that and let's get out of here. Let's put some witch water down. Now I know I could have gotten the villager through the quest. Uh, we could have gotten a spawn egg in one of the creating life quests. I think, I think it's that one, but uh, we're not doing all these yet. So that's why we went and got the zombie villager. Um, but right here we got a villager. And if I stick him in the witch water, oh, that's not right. Why did you turn into that? You turn into a zombie. Hmm. Uh, I did some testing, and I think what we need actually is a cleric or a priest villager. I suppose they're not technically clerics yet. Uh, this should give us the mob that we want, uh, which is a... Witch! Aha! Gimme, gimme. So now we have a witch. We have turned a witch, uh, a priest, into a witch using the witch water. Um, yeah, I checked a couple of other types of villagers, and they all just turned into the zombie villagers. So now what we can do, let's just kill all of these guys, because we do not need them. 
And we can always spawn more if, uh, oh, let's turn, oh, dang it. Okay, let's turn the, f let's turn the fans off. That was a bad idea. And off, and down, and get out of my way. Let's turn that around. And now you all will die, right? Right? Does the harvester not work on them? Well, let's just kill them then. Okay, now let's stick the witch in there and turn the fans on and turn the spawner on. And now we can spawn some witches and kill them for their drops, which is one or one of them is redstone. So hopefully this will uh, supplement our our dust our dust uh, sifting that we have going on there and we can start getting some redstone and uh, building up our resources so that we can actually do things again because right now uh, with the 33 redstone there's not much um, not much we can actually craft also someone mentioned in the comments that uh, there's another mob you can get with this witch water we got a skeleton here so yes and it worked we have a wither skeleton which means we could, well, we could get coal if we wanted to. Uh, we can get wither skeleton heads, which isn't too important because I don't really have plans of fighting a wither. Um, but we can also get uh, necrotic bones from these guys, which we need, actually, along with these things. Uh, we need this necrotic bone to make heart canisters, which will give us extra health. I've been letting this run for a bit, and we have how much redstone? 641 is what we're up to. Oh, that needs to go. And also these. Uh, I <laughs> I kind of messed up some stuff. I was trying to make some dispensers automatically with the crafting system. Not that one. And uh, it was trying to make bows, and every time it did it, it would the bows would end up going to this uh, nullifier and getting deleted. So it just it kept eating through string and sticks. And I was like, what is going on? Uh, then I remembered that we had bows in here. Um, so now instead of uh, match any, I had this at match any, uh, which was right there. Uh, I'm now doing split damage at 99%. So now if any bows are slightly broken, they should go here. Otherwise, everything else should. Uh, stay in the system because otherwise that's not good <laughs> not good at all so there we go uh, but yeah so we got we're getting some redstone uh, getting up there I've used a lot of it too just while I was waiting around doing random stuff making some more or printed circuit boards and such so I think this is something we might have to have running quite a bit which is all right because we're still doing excellent on mob essence it's basically full this giant tank and we seem to be doing good on power. All of those are full, at least. Uh, which means we are getting plenty of power. So we can handle it, which is good. But let's turn this off for now. Uh, because since we have the villager, I want to play around with it a little bit more. Let's wait for those guys to get all killed. And then we'll go down there and turn this around. Actually, it doesn't matter because we're using villagers. And as we found out earlier, they do not get killed by... The, uh, the grinder so that should do should do us we'll spawn a couple and we just need to grab one here all right and let's grab you you're gonna be a part of our experiment so there is a pneumatic craft villager that sells you pneumatic craft stuff uh, I don't know if we really need it but uh, I want to test it out because it's kind of interesting the way to make him is to stick him into a chamber so oh shoot it dropped my security upgrade in there I want that so we need to put him in there and close this back up and uh, now we gotta wait for the pressure to go up because we just lost all of our pressure oh oh hey 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 oh he died oh he died okay so that's interesting <laughs> Uh, so yeah, right once it hit one bar, he transformed, and then uh, he proceeded to die. So I guess we need to take him out right once that happens. Okay, we got him. Ugh. I almost missed him because I, I was doing other stuff. Uh, let's grab you out of there. I was just upgrading this stuff to, uh, to redstone energy conduits and energy cells so that... Uh, 
hopefully this thing can run a little bit faster because it's getting more energy um, at a time. But yeah, so now we have a, a villager. We have a Pneumaticraft villager. And you sell PCB. Okay, let me go grab some emeralds. Actually, we'll bring you with, with us. All right, so let's buy PCB blueprint. And what do you unlock when we do that? We get uh, stop worm. I don't know what that is. I think that's part of the uh, there's there's security stations that you can make, and uh, I don't know what they do exactly, but they're more for multiplayer to like keep your place from getting uh, hacked into or something. I don't know. He didn't open anything new, so let's try trading him some more. Right, and here we got assembly program drill and laser. This is the way that you're supposed to get these things, uh, by finding a villager or converting a villager. Um, we can actually make them with, uh, let's see, what what is it called? Uh, assembly program. We can actually make them with uh, emeralds. But it says, or I think when it, you craft it, it says that uh, it's a temporary recipe or something like that. And that uh, the way to actually get them is with villagers. Okay, this guy doesn't seem very useful. We, <laughs> oh, he did his program change from drill and laser to just the, the laser one. Oh well, we don't need any of that stuff. So I'm sorry, you're going to have to go. We're getting lots of ore berry bushes now. We're starting on our second layer, which is fantastic. And I had to add in another harvester because these only work at one level, um, at least with these. Or berry bushes, like with tree farms and stuff. If it if it finds a log, it will take out like the whole tree. It'll take anything connected to it. But with these or berry bushes, it'll only do one layer. So we got second harvester. Um, and I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but I took out all of the aluminum or berry bushes. First of all, be because we don't really need a lot of aluminum. Second of all, because this thing, this auto packager, like to make the aluminum into the empty canisters rather than aluminum blocks. Uh, it's, you know, it searched through the crafting recipes and found, or just did a two by two and was able to make that. Uh, which I thought there was a way to configure these, like by shift right clicking or something, to make it so that they only do like two by two or they only do three by three. Uh, but apparently not. Maybe it's not in this version. Uh, so there's, I can't really find any way to make it not do that. So I just took out the or, or the aluminum ore berry bushes. They're just sitting up in here. I have them uh, blacklisted on his programming so he doesn't pick them up out of the chest. And uh, everything else is working nicely here. And all this stuff is working all right. You know, stuff is kind of slow, not as fast as it could be, but it's working. Uh, and I guess, you know, since we're making all this AE system, I'll probably just connect this to the AE system as well. And I think I think what we're going to do, uh, it kind of works out nicely if we have one, two, three, and then we have another one of those supports here. And then maybe I'll put the AE blocks here. And then all of this stuff over here will stay in the barrels because we don't really need that. And I'll just connect them with uh, fuzzy storage buses. And then all of this stuff over on this side, this is the stuff that we really need in the AE system. So I'll attach that. And there's another thing hooked up to our ME system. Uh, I kept all these barrels. Uh, just have the fuzzy storage buses behind them, like I said I was going to do. Um, and the reason why I did that uh, is mainly for, like, uh, the limestone here and the the these things. Because <laughs> on here I have the void upgrades, so if any more limestone goes into there, it just gets voided automatically. Um, so instead of, you know, having it go into the ME drive and filling up tons and tons of space... It goes into the barrel and just gets voided and don't have to worry about it. And then uh, I kind of kept the rest of these just, well, like if these, I don't really need these. So again, if these fill up, I can put a void upgrade on those as well uh, and do the same thing. Um, fish and eggs are pretty important, but it's also nice to have them just here so I can grab them and see how much there are. Uh, there actually is, there's a storage monitor right here. This kind of acts like a barrel, so I might make one of these eventually, or a few of these, and maybe switch these out just because it'd look cooler. 
Um, but you can you can select an item to show on the monitor, and then you can like punch it to to get a stack of that item just like a barrel. So that's kind of cool. I also hooked up all of these chests or all these barrels as well. I just have the ME cable <clears throat> running all the way through here. Um, and then into those barrels and then it's connected to the system underneath connected to there so everything's all connected which by the way like over here um, I kept the item ducts under here because I couldn't really find a way to blacklist items on the fuzzy on the fuzzy import bus you can only whitelist as far as I know so I just kept the item ducts so that uh, I didn't have to figure out any of those um, any of that stuff because like with these what I have is it's just blacklisting uh, the pulverized iron ores or the pulverized ores or the the broken ores or the uh, crushed ores um, so that just makes it easier I just have it going into this chest and then a fuzzy import bus pulling it into the system uh, so that works nicely and I had some wither skeletons uh, in my auto spawner and we now have 47 necrotic bones so let's keep those in here so let's make some heart canisters to end off the episode we have seven mini miniature red hearts uh, so we need some canisters we got three of them we'll have to make four more so we need some aluminum I'll just do that and we need one two three four wait wait I guess I need to craft need to craft some more of those okay I wish that it would just automatically because I have it programmed in to craft I wish if you like were crafting stuff in here it would just automatically pull it out that'd be really nice all right so we got seven of those all right let's get rid of that let's get our canister back and then we need apples and we need diamonds and that goes around there and is that wait oh there we go it's only four well that's nicer so we need seven of these make sure I don't make too many and let's keep those put them in here and then the necrotic there we go and we got some heart canisters yay put those back and then we can just go right in here and those go in there and and does it not work okay now we're getting them uh, they're those little gold hearts they're just kind of overlapping I'm regening right now I guess and it's just going very slowly but uh, we should get seven extra hearts which is pretty nice get a little bit of extra health uh, so I think that's all we're going to do today. I hope you have enjoyed another episode of Crash Landing. I certainly have. I'm having lots of fun putting all this uh, advanced or applied energistic stuff together and getting some stuff going. Uh, it's This is a fun mod pack. I really like it. Um, but anyways, I hope you have enjoyed. Remember to leave a like and a comment down below, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, peoples.